This is Esther Goldberg for That's Entertainment, bringing you all the showbiz schmooze and weird ass news you just might have missed. And what a week it was! It's a paparazzi wet dream and fame horror stand this week. <laughs> The Kardashian credit card went down in flames as the family of grifters were publicly slapped for screwing over young people with exorbitant fees. Realizing that people were pissed and after finding out, the K family's lawyers issued a statement saying they didn't know for cockta and canceled the PR deal with the debit card company. Last I heard, that beast Chloe was depressed and munching out at an IHOP in Calabasas. Barbara Walters needs prunes. Seriously, bitch needs some sort of movement to put the Jersey Shores cast and Sarah Palin on as part of the 10 most fascinating people special defies explanation. Have we not heard enough of the Alaskan moose mutt or those talentless spray tan guidos? It's like the media beats a deaf horse in the mouth. We don't care. We're over these morons. Stop forcing these idiots down our throats. And speaking of, the tragic result of a Vlasic pickle ramming into a beer keg, known as Snooky, is heading for the hills of Hollywood to be a star and live here. Yep, she's been telling sources that she plans on becoming a movie star. A movie star. The only part I foresee in the girl's future is CGI horse crap in a Black Stallion remake. Kanye got booed at the Thanksgiving parade. Go figure. And he continues to rant playing the poor, helpless victim. Meanwhile, he has the number one album on the charts as 496,000 tone-deaf people bought his record. <laughs> Susan Boyle forgot the words or brain farted. No one knows quite what went wrong, but she came to an abrupt standstill on The View this past week and just stood there like a lost fart in a blizzard. A real pro would have said something. Pity. Great voice, worth millions, no real experience, really good life. Dancing with the Stars wants Todd Palin. Yep, ABC is fame whoring their show again, going after someone who is not a star for the sake of ratings. I mean, what has he done but be the former first bitch of Alaska? They should just change the name of the show to Dancing with the Fame Whores. The digital death campaign was just that, because no one gives a rat's ass if Kim Kardashian or Ryan Seacrest putters ever again. The public found a loophole to shut them up. Don't give money! Yep, and it looks like it's going to take some time for him to reach the $1 million goal. I bet you anything her size challenge booty will cough up the money so she can tweet again. It's sad it's for AIDS funding, but what dumbass thought we'd pay to give these fame boards more PR? Should have been the other way around. We'd pay a million dollars just to have them to shut the fuck up and disappear. They'd have raised a million dollars in minutes. And finally, Michael Douglas' first film after his cancer treatment is to play flamboyantly gay Liberace in the feature film next year. And Matt Damon gets to play the lover. How exciting! Wall Street gets a blowjob from Jason Bourne. I can't wait! That's Esther Damon, this is Esther Goldberg, and I'll see you next time. <coughs> oh, God! What the hell is that? This is water! This isn't vodka! Did they hire that blind, blind ass, what's his name, the, the, the prop guy? The one that can't see, the one that's near side. Heck, fire him. I use vodka, not water. What the hell? It's the holiday season, too. Okay, I'm going to be